Hey everybody, it's Lon Seibin and we are back with the Acer C740 and you'll notice it is upside down at the moment because I got a couple of viewer questions, I knew I was going to get these questions, about whether or not there's anything expandable inside of the box. So uh, Tom Prokes uh, appropriately points out that it's very easy to get at it because these are just uh, Phillips uh, screws that are on the bottom here, very easy to take off, it was very easy to get the case off of it and when you do remove the case this is what you're going to see uh, which is of course the main board and over in the corner here is a standard uh, Kingston uh, M2 SSD so you can easily get one of these uh, drives over at Newegg or some other retailer and uh, pop a larger one in and have a lot more space available to you which was really cool now the bad news is though that the memory is not upgradable so at least unless you're an electrical engineer or somebody that knows what they're doing uh, so as you can see here these chips are just uh, uh, you know soldered right onto the main board and you can of course add two more this is the two gigabyte version uh, you can add two more if you are really inclined but it might just be easier to buy the four gigabyte version of this computer and save yourself a lot of aggravation and probably if I was doing it I would probably break it in the process so uh, go and buy the four gig version because I think there's going to be some uh, really neat things you can do with this the prior version the C720 uh, there are hacks available to put Windows on this device and I am sure actually I know uh, Matt DeVillier who's been a fan of the channel who uh, helped us with the Chrome box and getting Windows on that uh, he's got a legacy boot uh, option for this too that will let us install Windows and other operating systems on here. So this is actually a really good value when you think about it. You can get uh, the four gig version. I think it's like 260 something bucks. Uh, get that. Uh, start hacking away at the software and you can really get yourself into a really nicely performing uh, 2.8 pound Windows notebook with decent battery life or uh, run Linux or Chrome OS or all three if you so choose. If you put a big enough SSD in there to get everything done at once. So this is going to be a lot of fun to play with and I love that uh, they make it relatively easy to uh, get at it and uh, make some changes to it. This is Lon Seibin. Thanks for watching.